this is Paul with Shirley Fabric Casual Tusk Coach, Alabama. We're gonna do a cooker on a, a video, a cooker on a video, a video on a cooker. We're fixing to send to Texas. This cooker's fixing to ship out. It's gonna ship out actually today. So uh, be a third party shipper. So what we're gonna do right here is do a quick video on it. This cooker is from Mr. Bobby Taylor in Texas. Bobby already has one of my cookers. What we're gonna do is do a trade in on this cooker. Uh, there's some things been changed on this cooker versus what he has. So basically, I'm gonna take the cooker Bobby has. I'm gonna have it back in Tuscaloosa. I may keep that cooker for myself. I may do some things I'm gonna do and then sell it immediately. So I may have a cooker coming up for sale. It'd be a 65, but it won't have the end cap. The difference in this cooker and the one that Bobby got now, this has a rounded end cap on it. It's on a four foot wide trailer. It has the bigger stainless shelf. Guys, listen to me. Stainless shelves are a big window, okay? So everybody don't think all your stainless shelves are gonna be this wide. All of them not having backsplashes. So if you want a bigger stainless shelf, you can get one as big as you want, but there's cost involved in that. So stainless is very high because we use three or four grade stainless, one eight thick, which is 11 gauge, not 14, not 16. So anyway, this is, okay, let me get back where we're at. We're on a 24 by 65, it is an elevated cabinet. This cabinet has a hip roof upgrade on the warmer, it has a hip roof upgrade, hip roof upgrade on the main chamber. Also, it has a fold down stainless shelf on the warmer right here. Fold down stainless shelf, comes up, locks into place, has a paper towel holder so when this is down, you can have paper towels on it. Other thing, guys, y'all can add to your stainless shelf. You can put a paper towel holder down here on one. If I had one, that's what I'd want. So it's different strokes for different fo folks. This cooker here has a remote grease drain. Easy access to grain the grease out of the cooker. Uh, also, show you the inside of the chamber. Inside of the chamber has three levels of grates. It also has the ability to direct cook in the main chamber. So when you look in here, it's gonna have more stuff in it than you'll normally see in a cooker, uh, but it does have an ash pan and an extra grate where Bobby wants to pull the doors open and just direct cook, he can do that. He has that option. So the cooker handles are really tight. Right here, here it is, okay? The, uh, so right here is a pan, is an ash pan. You can slide it in, drop this bottom grate down. It's like a standard cabinet, elevated cabinet then. So, uh, Anyway, it has tons of room. The bottom grate, you'll see four handles on this grate. It goes, this will come out. This goes down, okay? And then so what you're gonna see is four handles on that bottom grate. He, had, he wanted that, normally put one is for, for a hog grate. If he wants to cook hogs, it'll be the easy access to get them out of there. So anyway, that, that's what we got right here. All our doors are gasketed. You see how the indention in there where they've been sealing up tight? So these doors are going to seal up tight right here. Go in, lock. Bobby opted for a little locking tab right here. We can put a lock in. There's knuckleheads sealing people's grates, believe it or not. Also, Bobby got the upgraded custom wheels here. And when I sell the cooker, if I do sell the other cooker we're doing a swap on, I, I, I might take the wheels off. I don't know yet. I might leave them on. I'm not sure. But I really like those. It's probably one of my favorite wheels you can get. Bobby also back here, when we break the trailer back, everybody knows we break all our trailers back. On a four foot wide trailer, you got a little bit bigger area here. On a five foot is bigger, on a six foot is bigger. Decking that part with expanding metal is an upgrade. You know, we're not doing all that for free. No, we're not. So if you want that decked, you better put it in your build sheet or it's not gonna be decked. Don't come back and say, well, it didn't get covered. Well, it's cause you didn't put it in there. So come on around here, Jaden. This cooker here has an insulated fire box. It's a quarter inch plate on the inside, two inches of 2,000 degree insulation, and another quarter inch plate. This cooker here has an upgraded searing grate. Okay, it has a baffle block too, but it has a searing grate. Where Bobby wants to come in here and uh, do a reverse sear, throw his stuff on here, cook it in the main throw it down here and do a reverse sear, you can do it. It has an upgraded ash pan in here. Fire baskets come out locked, has handles on them. We build jam up looking fire baskets. I'm telling you, they're really good. So, uh, three quarter inch plate door. Uh, 
again. Let me see what it is. Oh, one thing right here, Bobby is a machinist. Bobby came up with this, uh, and, and we'll offer this probably on our builds. It's not going to be a cheap upgrade. I haven't put a price on it yet, but he's got toggle clamps right here, okay? We've got hinges welded on right here. This stack will fold down. Okay, Jaden came up with this part on this end where it goes into a trough. Fold down, it's got gaskets here all the way around it. Fold down lock. Now, it's not going to be a three-quarter plate. If we do it, it'll probably be a three-eighths, a quarter-inch plate. Bobby machined that plate itself. So it folds up. These toggle blades, you got jack bolts down there where you can get the tension you want. Folds up. These toggle clamps lock, and it locks it down. So uh, that's, that'll be an option if you want that option up. And Jaden came up with this where instead of folding down on the cooker, folds down a little trough. He's got some gasket material around it. Uh, it's excellent. Did, a, did an excellent job around it. Come on around here, Jaden. Bobby upgraded to a bulldog hitch. That's not our standard hitch. And a bulldog jack because that's what Bobby wanted. He sent those to me. Just as in if you want custom welding tires, we got the ones we offer. You can send them to us, the custom welding tires. You can send them to us. Also, uh, Bobby, he sent me a, a, a wiring harness for the front. He wanted a heavy, heavy wiring harness up here, and that's what he's got. So, uh, anyway, you've got the wood box right back here. Jay Swing, shoulder cooker, but swing all the way around. Look, look right here. The end cap welds. Jaden put all these welds on. They slick as a baby's butt. So, anyway, uh, come on around through here, Jay. You got a fire tire holder back here on the back. He's got his custom wheel right here. Uh, LED lighting encased in boxes. These fenders. And I said this a hundred times. When you compare cookers, you look at everything. Because folks miss a lot of things on cookers. You look at our fenders right here. These are custom made. They ain't bought fenders. They're made by us. They're 3 16 plate thick. And uh, they look good. You know, you've got some guys slap plate up there. And just, I mean, if that's what you want, don't compare a cooker at this price to ours and say, well, they're just cheaper. Well, you better look at what you're talking about. You need to know. A lot of guys don't know. So anyway, everything we do is going to be tight. It's going to be right. And uh, on the back of this cooker, it has a flag slash umbrella holder here. It has one here. You can put umbrellas up while you're cooking to stay your backside out of the sun. Or you can uh, put flags in here. You can put a number of things you can do. Bobby opted for six probe ports on his cooker. Plus one in the warmer. So he's got one on the grate, one on the grate, one on the grate. He has two extra tracks inside that main chamber. So he has three main grates. He has two extra tracks where you can jump tracks and do extra things in there. Uh, got the wood box back here. On, all of our bills start out, guys, with a four foot wide trailer as a base model trailer. Okay, four foot wide, which is outside of this fender to the outside of the other fender is 73 inches, roughly 73 inches. On the modified trailer, the trailer is going to be 32 inches, outside of the fender is going to be 53 inches. So it's a space saving thing, uh, it gives you a little more room in your carport. Bobby wanted the wider trailer, so that's what he got. Uh, Trying to think what else we got right here. Swing back around here, Jay, and I'll show them the warmer. I warm it. And I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say it with extreme confidence. Our warmers are the most versatile warmers in America. No doubt. I no doubt. We have a insulated firebox. We have a damper that goes from the box into the chamber. You can put a baffle block in there, and you can cook in there just like a vertical cooker. You can do that. You can open this damper and you're going both ways. You're going all through there. You can close that damper, open the damper from the main chamber coming in here, close your main stack, and wrap out this stack. There are guys doing that. There are guys wrapping out both of them. A million things you can do with our cooking. I'm telling you, we got one of the best, if not, if not the best design cooker in America. I'm just telling you, we do. There's some good builders out there. Don't you get me wrong. They, they are. We are the ones that came up with these, these dual damper systems. We did it. We came up with this. Nobody else did that. We did it. 
stuff. Anyway, right here, this is another option. You know, upgrade, you're going to have this pan right here in your warmer. It comes out. You're going to have this pan right here. That's in the build, in, in the base model cooker. This is an elevated grate that goes in that warmer. You could put charcoal just in that pan. Most guys opt for this elevated grate in here to put charcoal in. It gives a little airflow. And then they cook up in here. He's got sausage hangers here. I gasketed his warmer door. That is not in a regular build. It's an upgrade. I did that for Bobby because I wanted to do it for Bobby. Because Bobby, me and Bobby, me and Bobby's good. So, uh, not gonna happen on every build, I, I can tell you. But I did it for Bobby. Uh, also, it's just like I said, this, this can be used, you can cold smoke in this bacon. Go on, our, go on our fan page and look at the guys that's doing all this stuff they do. It's some insane cooks out there that's doing some wonderful stuff. You can cold smoke in here, you can grill in here, you can direct cook in here, you can indirect cook in here, you can cure bacon and smoke bacon in here, you can do cheese in here. There's numbers of things you can do with our cookers. That's why we're one of the leaders in the industry. Old boys in Alabama come up being leaders, want some of the leaders in the industry. Again, I'm not knocking any other pit builder, there's some good ones out there. And there's some bad ones out there, I'm here to tell you. So, anyway, oh. One guy, nothing. Well, he says people that's not doing stuff like his are archaic. I heard it, I've seen it, he got a video on it. It says, God ain't cutting this stuff out like his is archaic. What? Are you jealous or somebody? Quit that. Quit talking to people that are archaic. We, don't, we may be archaic, because we can get out here and do it by hand. And uh, But I tell you what, it's good. I'll pull up beside him any day. Any day. So anyway, again, you look at our build. You check it out, you come up and look at it, that cooker shines. That cooker is one of the, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful cooker. Come in here, Jaden, back over here. And we showed y'all about these pins of the other day. I'm gonna show you one more time. That pin is incorrectly. That pin, it, it takes a, uh-oh. Hard to get out, right? I see it, guys, I'm gonna warn y'all. One more time, I'm asking y'all, please listen to Paul. Listen to Brother Paul if you don't listen to nothing else I say. People think that's it. People think that's in there. They see that little uh, loop in it, and they say, man, that's in there. It's easy to get out. It's going to come out just like that. If you'll get that pin one more time, push it in. Yeah, it hurts your hands. You know, it hurts your hands. You know, it might hurt a little bit, but just <clears throat> do it. That ain't coming out. That, that pen will never sit there and say, I'm just gonna go down the road and I'm gonna hop out of that cooker and let the tongue come out. It's not gonna happen ever. So do not ever tell me that happened because it's never gonna happen. Plus, we give you the second out, an option, a lock, a double lock. So, you got all sorts of things here to keep that pen from coming out. So don't put it in, let, you, let, let your wife go out there and put it in for you and tell you it's right, it's wrong. But again, this is Paul Shirley Fabricator, Touch Coast, Alabama. Thank y'all for your business. Thank y'all for spitting everywhere for all you do. I don't tell people. I, I posted that just now proud of me. I bought me a block, a butcher block, and I love it. Uh, somebody posted, said, why did you buy that? What you gonna do with it? I'm gonna say I got one. I got me one, because I wanna say I have one. It makes me think of my niece who passed away. She had one just like it, and it makes me think of her every time I look at it, and uh, I love it. So. One of these days, I'm going to have me a big cooking room coming off this shop, a fireplace, and a big extra kitchen, and I'm going to have this in there. So that's why I got it. But anyway, thank y'all for y'all's business, guys. Uh, we appreciate it. You know, not to be deceived at all. If it wasn't for y'all, we would not be here. We thank each and every one of y'all. Uh, so we're going to get out of here. Got lots of work to do. And, uh, you can go to our website, call Tyler, email Tyler. You can email me too. Uh, I'm just uh, not really taking any more bills. But anyway, not now. So I, you know, I thought I was gonna have hand surgery, but I got a decent report on it. But still, I got terrible. You start ha keep having birthdays. And you, you get older, you're gonna have boo-boos. They say I might have rheumatoid arthritis and stuff. So anyway, he gave me some medicine. I'm ball up with this, and I can still knock a cow out with it. But anyway, we'll holler at y'all. We'll see y'all. We're out of here.